folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the advantages and the disadvantages of using spinning reels. Well, folks, if you watch any of my fishing videos, you'll see that the majority of the reels that I am using are bait casting reels. When I am chasing catfish, uh, when I'm chasing stripers, and a lot of the saltwater fish, I am using bait casting reels. If you watch some of my other videos though, you'll see me using uh, spinning reels to catch crappie and white perch, and also some of the sharks that we catch out in saltwater. Now, I get a lot of questions from viewers and they ask, uh, can I use spinning reels to catch catfish with? And if so, what is the best size for me to go with? Well, the short answer is yes, you can use spinning reels to catch catfish, and they're a very effective tool to help you catch catfish. Now, what size you go with will depend on the waters that you're fishing and how you're fishing. If you're fishing a small community pond for little small catfish, you'll need a much smaller reel than if you're fishing some big waters, heavy current, or if you're doing some long distance casting for these fish. Now when it comes to spinning reels, just like with the bait casting reels, there is a number sequence that roughly corresponds to their size. There's no rhyme or reason to what that number syncs up with, but generally speaking, most of the manufacturers are making spinning reels of similar sizes in those different class numbers. These start down as low as 1500 and go up to nine or 10,000. Um, for most people, what you're going to be needing is somewhere there in the middle. Now, if you watch any of my perch fishing videos or my crappie fishing videos, generally speaking, I'm using some of these smaller spinning reels. These are in the 1500 to maybe 3000 series. These are generally pretty small reels. Uh, you don't need a lot of line capacity and you don't need a lot of drag. And that's why I use these smaller size reels. Now, for some of you, depending on what kind of catfish you're fishing for and where you're fishing, these reels may work great. The downside is, if you're fishing in an area that has some bigger fish, some fish that are 8, 10, 12 pounds, these will put a real workout on a reel like that, and it will put a lot of wear and tear on you as an angler because getting a fish in on this lighter tackle with a lot less line can be very tricky. Now it can be done in this video. I was fishing for crappie and I hooked into a 32 pound blue catfish. Got about a pound of drag on it right now. This will likely be a one net shot deal. I will have one shot at this fish probably. I see, the, I see my leader, I see my leader, I see my leader. a one shot deal guys this is a one shot deal he's in the net uh i thought it wrangled it worked it in now luckily for me i was fishing for a boat from a boat that makes it a lot easier to get a fish in you guys that are fishing from the bank there's a lot more to lose with fishing with the lighter tackle on the bank uh but the point is it can be done but you're probably better off upping the size of the reel and up in the size of the line that you have on that reel now, sure, there are some people that want to go with the biggest and the baddest, and uh, I've got some of those reels, some of those 8,000 class reels. I don't use them for catfish. Uh, I use those reels offshore fishing for sharks, uh, mainly for the line capacity more than anything and the amazing amount of drag that these bigger reels uh, put on a fish. If you're fishing for catfish, you don't need something that big. What I suggest you go with is something in the four to 6,000 class of a spinning reel. These have plenty of drag and plenty of line capacity to handle any kind of fish that you're gonna encounter. The great thing about spinning reels is there's a lot of people that make them. Uh, there's a wide variety of them out there and they're halfway affordable compared to some of the more expensive bait casting reels. Now the ones that are my favorites are the pins, uh, in particular the Battle 2. They're making a Battle 3 version now. And there are several other versions of spinning reels that they make, uh, but these are ones that I really, really like. Basically, if you go with any of the major manufacturers out there, 
uh, you, they will have a reel that will be in the class and the size that you need. Now, one of the other big advantages, uh, especially for folks that are starting out fishing, starting out fishing for catfish, starting out fishing for striper, is the relative ease with which a bait casting reel can be used. It does not take a lot of finesse and a lot of work to cast it like it does with a bait casting reel. These things are very easy to use. You basically flip your finger around the line, flip the bail open, rear back, and sling it. No real worry about backlashing a reel. Uh, no need to uh, thumb uh, the uh, spool on it to slow it down to keep it from backlashing. Uh, nothing to adjust on it. It's pretty much straightforward and simple to use. And that's why I think they're one of the best reels for new anglers, especially new anglers that are pursuing bigger fish like stripers and catfish and some of the uh, bigger saltwater species. A spinning reel is a great way to go. Now there are some disadvantages, or I should say advantages to using a bait casting reel. Again, these are two different tools with two different applications. Uh, when it comes to letting line off, it is a lot easier to do that uh, with a bait casting reel. And what I mean by that is a lot of times we are fishing vertically underneath the boat and we're dropping lines to a certain depth. It's a lot easier to do that with a bait casting reel. Uh, all bait casting reels, or I should say most of them have clickers on them. Uh, which is a very good tool that a lot of people like to use in different situations, especially when they're sleeping in the middle of the night. And that's something that not all spinning reels are going to have. Another real cool thing about pretty much all spinning reels is that you can switch the handle from one side to the other. If you are right or left-handed, uh, you don't have to worry about buying a right or left-handed reel you can very quickly and very easily take the handle off, flip it, and put it on the other side of the reel. Uh, this is very convenient for you uh, lefties out there who many have many times have a difficult time finding a reel uh, that comes in a left-handed model. Another cool feature that a lot of the spinning reels have, especially the newer ones and the higher end ones, is an interchangeable spool. And what I mean by that is, you can actually take the spool of line off of there so that if you've got a reel that you really like to use, say saltwater fishing where you're casting a lot and you're using braid, uh, when you go to a more snaggy situation and you want to use mono, instead of having to re-spool the whole reel, you can buy extra spools, take uh, one spool off, put another one on, and you're ready to go fishing. For most people, casting these reels is a lot easier and it's something uh, that they can become uh, very comfortable with uh, very early on. The uh, spinning reel was the first one I taught my son to cast. Uh, a kid can master it very quickly and very easily and uh, therefore I think it's a good reel for younger anglers to be using. Uh, that is a lot less intimidating and a lot less frustrating than trying to teach them how to use a bait casting reel. So which reel do you go with? Which is the best? Uh, what is the best option? Well, as with most things, uh, the more you spend, uh, the more you can afford to spend, generally speaking, the better the reel you're gonna get. Now, with that said, there are spinning reels out there that are seven, eight, and $900. Uh, you're not gonna get, for especially the beginning angler, the kind of value out of that reel uh, that you may think you're going to get. It is not that big of a difference. They are well built, finely tuned, and beautiful instruments, but you can go catch fish with something under a hundred bucks, probably under 60 bucks. So don't feel like you have to spend a pile of money to get something that works and that will hold up for you. But uh, generally speaking, when you start to spend something in the 85 to 150 range, you're going to get a really good reel that will last you a lifetime. Well, folks, hopefully that gives you some stuff to think about uh, when it comes to spinning reels and the confidence to know that you can go fishing with them, especially if you want to catch catfish, striper, saltwater fish. You don't have to have a bait caster. I know they can be intimidating. They can also be very expensive compared to the spinning reels. So have confidence knowing that a spinning reel will catch any fish you want to catch. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good. <laughs>